Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with some smelly mail that I have recently gotten that I'm super excited to share with you. So um, yeah, I've got like seven perfumes here to talk about and I'm gonna jump right in. Okay, so the first package that came came from my beautiful subscriber friend Tatiana. She sent three really gorgeous fragrances that I am so excited to have and to play with. Um, so the first one she sent is this one here from I am going to butcher this. Majda Bakali. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Majda Bakali. Um, and this one is called Fusion Sacre. And I actually had this one. I actually had this one on my Lucky Scent wish list. And this is such an interesting fragrance. It's nothing like what I thought it was going what I thought it was going to be. This has got like a million notes in it, and it is so interesting smelling. This is one that I cannot wait to spend some time with and to really wear so it's really really interesting so the top notes on this are and i don't know this is just what it says on fragrantica so i don't know how accurate these all are but it says on fragrantica that the top notes are coffee rhubarb coriander clementine black currant and bergamot middle notes are tuberose gardenia bread fig fig nectar clove, orange blossom, and jasmine. And the base notes are vanilla, Canadian fir, tolu balsam, benzoin, heliotrope, musk, patchouli, ambergris, and cedar. Um, I can tell you there is something very, I'm, I was really, really surprised that there's not neroli in this because I feel like I get this really sharp neroli when you first spray it and something very, very green. Let me, I'm gonna go to the Lucky Scent website and I'm gonna look up the notes on the Lucky Scent website because I feel like they'll be more accurate. It would, the, the ones on Fragrantica were not bad. So it says it's got black currant, bergamot, and clementine tinged with coffee, um, heady florals like gardenia, jasmine, and orange blossom, with a deep base of fir, cedar, and patchouli. So the only thing I can think of is that there's something about the combination with citruses in the top and the coffee and the orange blossom. Because I really, out of those three white florals, I get the orange blossom the most. Something about that with the fur, the fur and the cedar in the base. Oh, it's so interesting. I think this is just gonna be fantastic in cooler weather. I cannot wait to play with this one. This one's really, really interesting. Um, so anyways, that is the first one. That is called Fusion Sacre. And it looks like they have um, like a light version and a dark version. This is the light version. Um, and that is from Majda Bakali. Okay, the next one she sent is this beauty. This is from Mask Milano, and this is called Madeline. I've had a sample of this before, and I love this. This one is really, it smells like, this one reminds me of like a pastry shop. Like if you have ever been to Paris and been into a pastry shop, that's what this smells like to me. And that is hilarious because I just looked it up on Lucky Scent so I could tell you the notes. And whoever wrote this, it says something about traveling frequently to Paris and how this person would stop at a patisserie or a delicatessen. Um, and most of the time the person ended up eating a chestnut dessert. So I think it's um, whoever, I think it's one of the people behind Mask Milano that is writing that. Um, but anyways, this is Chestnut Accord, Chantilly Accord, Cumin, Tuberose Absolute, Cypress, Geranium, Tonka Bean, Milky Musks, and Vanilla Pot Extract. Um, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a yummy, delicious gourmand. It is heavy, heavy on the chestnut though. So if you don't like nutty perfumes or you don't like chestnut, I would steer clear of this because this one is definitely very heavy on that chestnut note. And this almost has something kind of bready smelling in it. I love it. I think it is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait for cooler weather. I've already worn this even in the heat. I didn't care, um, but I cannot wait for cooler weather to wear this one. I think this is going to be 
gorgeous layered over some of my oils and things that I have. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. So that is Mask Milano Madeline. And then the last one that Tatiana sent is this one here called the Pink Bedroom Perfume Oil um, by Marissa Zappis. And this is, this was made for, this was made for a museum and which I'm not going to say on my channel because I don't, um, I don't want to, it's not serious or anything, but it was made for a museum. I'll just say that. Okay. This one is a limited edition fragrance and it says it evokes plastic doll heads, sweet makeup powder, strawberry candy, and an overall unnerving aura by, by way of cassis. Heliotrope, Rose de Mai, Oris Resinoid, Strawberry, and Musk. And I love this. This smell, to me, this smells amazing. It does kind of smell like makeup, but it's got, but you definitely get like a hint of strawberry. So it does kind of remind you of like your Barbie makeup from when you were a kid with a little bit of strawberry in it. You definitely get the like plasticky doll head thing. I love it. I love everything about this. Um, I love fragrances like this. I love anything makeup be smelling. I love anything that smells like dolls. Um, and I love sweet things. So this is right up my alley and I'm super excited to have this one. This is one that I wore. I have worn this one too. This will end up in my next what I wore last week video because I did just wear this one. Oh, it's so good. I love it so much. So that is called the Pink Bedroom Perfume Oil and that is from Marissa Zappis and you can get this on her website. Okay, and then Vincent from Dreamhouse sent over a bottle, the most beautiful bottle. Um, and I am so excited. He's not only did he send a bottle, but he sent a couple of samples, which I cannot wait to get my nose on. Um, these two, I have waited to smell until I could sit down and film. Um, Ghost Stance, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait at all. I had to, um, oh my gosh, I, I had to smell it. And just like every other fragrance that he makes, it is perfection. Okay, so Ghost Dance is Blackberry Tobacco Oud Whiskey, Tolu Balsam, uh, Costas, Musk, Sugar, Coumarin, and Cocoa. And it is absolutely stunning. These just came in the mail today, so I haven't had a chance to wear them, but I will wear this and, oh my gosh, I'll wear it and it'll come up in a what I wore last week video. So I immediately get the blackberry with this. You get the sweetness from the sugar. You get the same gorgeous cocoa that is in Blood Cherry Cordial. So if you could imagine like Blood Cherry Cordial but replace the cherry with blackberry, it's so good. There's a little bit of booziness from the whiskey. You get a, a touch of woodiness from the oud but the oud is not overpowering at all. Like it doesn't take over the fragrance. If you like Blood Cherry Cordial, I think you would love this one because it's similar. It's not exactly the same but it's similar. It's like a chocolate blackberry fragrance. It's amazing. I'm so excited to wear this one um, anytime I get to wear one of Vincent's creations. It, I just, it just makes me so happy. So that is the first one that is called Ghost Dance. The next one is one that I have not been able to get my nose on yet and I'm so, I'm so excited to smell this one. Um, this is one that I've been super curious about. This is the one called Profiles number three and this is Anne Boleyn. Now, I think there's like a Medusa one, and I can't remember because they're not all on the website anymore, but this is the Anne Boleyn one. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely stunning, which I feel like there's just nothing like, there's just nothing like a Dreamhouse Acurio fragrance. Oh my gosh, okay. This one, I am, as soon as I sprayed it, I immediately smelled rose, and not like a stuffy, not like a stuffy rose, like a beautiful, fresh, not, not at all sweet rose. Okay, so this one is rose, incense, labdanum, musk, peony, vanilla, and brandy. So it's the peony that is keeping the rose kind of in check, for sure. It's keeping, rose and peony is such a gorgeous combination. And then with the vanilla, and it's not too much vanilla. It's not like an overly vanilla fragrance. 
the vanilla, there's just enough vanilla to to give it maybe the slightest hint of creaminess and maybe the slightest touch of sweetness. But this is not a sweet fragrance. This is a beautiful, fresh, like peony and rose. And then you get a touch of booziness in the base from the brandy. This is absolutely stunning. This is very, very different from anything else I've smelled from him too. It's got that like signature Dreamhouse Securio smell to it. All of his perfumes have like a common thread running through them. They all kind of have this, I don't know, house scent. But this one is incredible and it's very, very different. Very fresh very different from anything I've smelled from him. This is amazing. I can't wait to give this a good wear test. So that one is called Anne Boleyn. And then the last one he sent over, this, this one is called Venetian Doll. This one, I he may have told me what's in this. If he did, I don't remember um, because I, I have no idea what's in this. This is stunning. This one is, oh, I can't wait to wear this. I cannot wait to wear this. This one is sweet. This might be the sweetest thing I've smelled from Vincent. Like, very sweet. It's hard for me to smell. My nostrils are full from smelling so many things. But I feel like I'm smelling some kind of a berry, like maybe even strawberry. Some kind of a berry. I'm gonna have to give this one a good wear test on my skin and I'll have it in a What I Wore Last Week video. Whenever it gets close to the time of the sale, I'll do a whole Dreamhouse Securio video and I'll go over every single fragrance that I have, including all the samples that I have. Um, just so if any of you are wanting to shop the sale, then you'll have a good idea of what everything smells like, um, what my opinions are of everything. So I'll definitely do a full video on Dreamhouse the closer it gets to October. Probably like the same week the sale is gonna start, I'll do a video about Dreamhouse. I could talk about Dreamhouse Acario all day. <laughs> like, all day. I love his fragrances so much. This one is no exception. This is fantastic. I have no idea what's in this. It smells, it's sweet, it's berry light. There's some kind of a musk in it, I think. I almost get like, gosh, it almost could smell like a doll. It almost could smell like a doll, but without any kind of makeup, makeup, makeup y you know, powderiness or anything like that. Oh my gosh, it is fantastic. I will give this one a good, good wear test on my skin and I'll be able to tell more and I'll be able to tell you more about this fragrance because right now I've smelled too many perfumes and um, things always smell completely different on paper than on, and I don't even know why I'm still using these. I have like real blotters. I don't know why I don't grab them. Um, but anyways, that one is called Venetian Doll. Again, when it gets closer to October, I will do a whole video and we'll go over all of the fragrances that I have from, from Dreamhouse. So yeah, Venetian Doll. And that is going to be it, guys. That is Smelly Meal that came to me this week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.